And in these 25 years, I spent uh, 21 years in the international level. And um, I had uh, two world champion titles, individual and one European, and many team results, altogether uh, 35 medals on world and European championships. So quite a busy 25 years behind. Uh, you had the opportunity to get familiar with this canal uh, three days ago and today. Uh, are you, you managed to get familiar with this uh, section and whole canal? To be honest, we had a chance to get familiar in the last uh, 15 years because in 2005 there was the Junior World Championship here. I was already walking on the bank. And uh, since then we had a European Championship in 2013 and in 2016 the feeder. So not only these three days, but the last couple of years, we had a chance to get, uh, to get close to the venue, let me say like that. Back to these three days, uh, you know that the venue is from two different parts. Uh, the ABC sections are down here. This is our first day here, because Monday and Tuesday we were in the upper area. Uh, and I can tell you they are very different. They could not be more different than they are now, actually. So we are very happy on the up uh, sections, D and E. It's quite a, uh, a good condition for us as a team. We can't wait to get there. ABC is a little bit more difficult with these bloody little catfish and uh, much, uh, much other disturbance like the weed on the surface. So, very, very difficult fishing on the down area and quite a positive fishing on the upstream. Hold three awesome Nula Shest. We had, because it's normally it's a secret, but I can tell you. No, I'm kidding. It's, we had between one and a half and two and a half kilos, uh, the whole team, everybody, between one and a half and two and a half. Personally, I had 2.4 kilos. Uh, but yesterday, uh, uh, yes, because I knew what I did. Uh, but uh, I have to tell you that if it's a match tomorrow here, we have to sit down for three, four kilos, okay? But uh, to catch three, four kilos, you have to fish. You have to fish very different, uh, but in a training, you don't want to maximize your weight. You want to find out what to do, because we have a day today here, tomorrow another day here, but Friday we are back again on the upstream. So we spend and lose a lot of time with practicing different things and not maximizing the weight. Did you find your tactic, your strategy? If the match is tomorrow, I believe so, but the match is not tomorrow. So the next two days, uh, we have to refine it and the captains and the managers and all the bank runners with the team have to be very careful to see the difference comparing to Wednesday to Friday because then we can uh, accumulate and find out what happens on Saturday. Hopefully, okay? Hopefully. Uh, other teams uh, tell us that you are one of the favorites. Why, what do you think? I, I think that the other teams are very kind. But, uh, <laughs> but, but, but Yes, there, are, there is 32 countries here, if I'm right. Maximum 10 has a, result, has a chance to win here. Okay? I don't want to hurt anybody, but I, I do believe that it's uh, 8 to 10 countries who has a chance to win and go to the podium. Because the fishing is so technical and so many small fish need to be caught in, 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 in difficult situations that you don't really have a chance to be lucky. You know what I mean. So, eight to ten countries, and, and I, I think that Hungary is in this eight to ten countries. So, we have some chance, yes. What do you think about Serbian team? They are definitely in the top eight to ten countries to, to have a result, of course. So, because of, they are familiar with the, this canal condition? Um, and not, not only that. Not only no, uh, first of all, they have, they have many good anglers in the team. Second, they are from this part of Europe where they have this kind of fishing. If, it, if it's in Serbia or Croatia, Hungary or even Slovakia, it doesn't really matter. It's, it's more than less the same. So in, it, they are from this area. And yes, obviously, uh, they know it better than anybody else. So these three factors together uh, 
gives me the point that uh, they have a really good chance. Feeder World Championships, one for the nations in South Africa and one for the club in Portugal. And uh, I have two gold medals now from these two events. So, so quite okay, we won both World Championships.